Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are on GNOME 49 and it released uh, a few days ago. And what I'm going to show you is how to make it look pretty, or I guess the term is functional, which extensions to use and uh, which extensions you could use for alternative looks, I guess. And, you know, just uh, overall GNOME stuff, even how to update extensions to work on GNOME 49, because despite what they want you to believe, GNOME extensions do not break. What happens is the GNOME Shell's version changes from 48 to 49, and for stability reasons, they end up turning off the extensions. They don't break until the developer can make sure the extension is stable and updated according to the current GNOME version. That's actually how extensions work. Yeah, imagine that. Reddit wrong, as always. So, uh, don't believe the BS, okay? So, what do we do first? Well, being that I'm on Cache OS and I've returned to form, we're going to start with a fresh console. And I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Pseudo Pacman dash capital S extension manager. Now, I don't care how you get extension manager, whether it's from the yay or as a flat pack, it doesn't matter. As long as you have it, it makes it easy for getting everything required for this guide, okay? Because it is the core of everything. After that, you're gonna wanna go and open extension manager. You're gonna wanna go to browse, maximize it. Let's turn on dark mode. There we go. And let's begin installing what's necessary. User themes. You're gonna want extensions list. It helps you, uh, deal with everything and we're going to install it anyway okay uh you're going to want open weather usually interesting what the hell is this what is zorin dash extension moves the dash out of transforming into a dock easier blah 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 interesting unsupported for years why is it showing me stuff that's up unsupported that's not very fair. We're going to want, um, what's it called? App indicator right here. Okay. And that's going to show the current apps that we have open. We're going to want either dash to dock or where the hell is it? Dash to dock or dash to panel. Depending. Do you want a windows like environment? You install this. You want a Mac OS like environment? you install this okay see that and then we got both another thing we need to grab is our menu that will give us everything that we need to uh have a little start button right here which is nice there's also another one called just perfection uh which is just per perfection Okay. I think it's because, uh, there it is. Good. If you want desktop icons, there's GTK4 desktop icons. I don't like desktop icons, so I will not be installing it. And I wonder if Tile is here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to install this as well. We'll just update it as we go. The ones that don't work, we'll make work, okay? Just like this one, which is called Blurred My Shell. I don't know if it's been updated. It hasn't, okay? And we're going to install it anyway. And that's really it. That's all I end up using. Uh, I'm going to hit Control-H, and we're going to maximize the window. I'm going to go into .local, share. We're going to go into GNOME Shell, extensions, and here they all are, okay? And there's going to be a file. It's called metadata.json. Okay, I'm not sure where it is in here, but it's here somewhere. There it is. And you don't want to open it with Firefox. Okay, that one's already supported. I need to go to one that's not supported so I can show you how to update it. So I'm going to go and we're going to open this with text editor. Just like this. And you see over here, one second. 
So we're going to change the version number from 69 to 70. And we're going to go to this line. We're going to add that. And at the bottom, we're going to add 49. And we're going to hit Control S to save, okay? So that extension has been updated. This is updated. This is updated. This is not updated yet. So we're going to need to update this. Same thing. Open with text editor. Change version 43. Add a doohickey. Go to the bottom. And add a 49. Okay. And instead of us closing this, what we'll do is we'll just keep opening things. This has already been updated. Open weather. I don't think open weather has been updated just yet. Let me take a look. Oh, wow. This is a really old one. This is not the one I was thinking of. So we're actually going to go and delete this one. Just like that. Uh, tiling shell has not been updated yet, but guaranteed it works. So just like this. 49. Sorry, the, the, the 49 needs to go within the... Yeah, like, not like that, like this. Okay, control S to save. And user themes has also already been updated. Yes, okay. Now, what do we do next? We log out and we log back All in. Right. Now that we've logged in and out, you may notice this exists now. And blur my shell is on. I'm gonna turn off dash to panel. And now we have a complete new look going on. As you can see, we have a dock. And that's what dash to dock does. We have a start menu right here. Looks pretty nice. And we're going to change the icon real quick because I want to see, make people see I'm on Arch Linux. Yeah. Gotta make this nice and big and destroy the position. There we go. Done. Now, um, I guess what I could do is turn this off and turn this back on and uh, show you basically how to set this up to the best of my ability right now. All right, because I think that would probably be uh, better for you. Monitor center. And turn that off. Left box, monitor center. And there you go. Now you got a Windows 11 type scenario going on, minus the fact that Arc settings is not really doing that. Uh, what we can do is we could choose a modern layout. And we could choose this. And go back. Then what we could do is visual appearance, override position. We could do bottom centered, just like that. That looks fine. And uh, yeah, so far so good. So we want, we can go to fine tune in here. You can change up whatever you want. I believe style is where I want to go. Icon style, you can choose symbolic, whatever you need to. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you could do. There we go. Now we got some blur going on. See that? This, if we want it to, we could change it to whatever color we want it. So now it's slightly purple. Uh, we could change it to blue. Blue looks honestly better than purple right now, but that's just a thing. You can even add a panel border. So that way it looks nice and sharp. If you want, you can override it. And just change it to just pure black to give it that nice sharp look, but... Here's the nifty part. We do this, do that. Ah, huh? nice, right? I mean, so far it's kind of like Windows and for a new Linux user, you should feel pretty at home. And I guess that's what you would want, right? You want to feel a little at home and that's completely fine. I uh, would expect nothing less for you to want to feel comfortable with your environment. All right, next we're going to show you about the tweak tools, okay? So if we go here, we can turn on these buttons, turn them to left or to right. I like them on the left. It's just what I, that's what I do. And I can change this to dark. Can't change this because there's no shell theme, but we're going to install some icons as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this for the rest of the video. Uh, not the rest of the video, for most of the video. And yay, Tahoe. I'm going to grab the icons that I want and the cursors that I want. So this is just a cursor that I like. Yes, the Tahoe theme that I use has not made it to the AUR yet. 
but we'll do a good Google and we'll find what we need. So Mac OS, Mac OS Tahoe, uh, Gnome theme right here. This is the one that I use. This is honestly the one that I recommend. And the installation is pretty simple. Git clone and then paste. And then we're going to do CD. Gnome slash install slash D slash LA. That's it. It's there. Okay. We're going to type CD to get out of there. We're going to type clear to clear everything out. Uh, as I am going to want the icons from GitHub as well. And I know this may seem weird, but bear with me. If you're new to this, what you need to understand is that Linux is about choice. It's about deciding what you want, what you need your stuff to look like. Okay. And this is my choice. This allows me to uh, feel better where I am right now versus where most people are, if that makes any sense. So there we go. We just changed this to Tahoe Dark and this to Tahoe Dark. The icons, we're going to change to that and the cursors to this. And there we go. So now we got the Mac Tahoe cursors and everything else. Now you may notice that this is super transparent and a lot of people might have a problem with that because they can't see. Thankfully, that's where this application comes in. This allows you to add application blur. Turn this off, crank this all the way up, enable all by default. If you wanna have it really, really visible, you can do that, okay? And there we go. Now we've got that blur going on and that looks actually pretty nice. Pretty cool so far, don't you think? Okay, um, yeah, besides that, um, you are able to change a few things if you need to. And there's the window side, so we're going to turn off dash to panel now. We're going to turn on dash to dock. As you can see, now I have a nice fancy little dock going on. I am going to change everything that I need in here. So first is I want this more rounded view and I want blur to be all the way up with brightness as well. Excellent. And I want the, uh, the blur of the top panel to be a lot more and the brightness to be around 80. This is an aesthetic thing. I enjoy it. And uh, we're going to go to dash to dock. So I'm going to turn off auto hide because, you know, I like my auto hide. For some reason that just bugged out. That's funny. I'm going to change this down to 40. We're going to shrink the dash. Makes everything more compact. With that beginning, I'm going to turn that off because I don't need it. And I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn this. There we go. Done. We're back. Okay. Uh, for just perfection, what I normally do is I end up taking the block position, turning it right, and I end up putting it right there. And the, this to 40. This is the panel button padding size. I turn this to 3 and this to 1 is it makes it all nice and clean and that's it that's how easy it is to make everything shine now one second please for some reason this tends to do this a lot there we go so we're going to go back to google we go to dot ca you can do whatever you want Thing. wallpaper Archive. This is where I get all my wallpapers these days because I like to have things that just look clean. Um, and I'm probably going to go with. Yeah, something from Costa Rica looks pretty good. Set as background. There we go. Done. Look at that. Nice and clean. 
that was hopefully a pretty easy tutorial to follow. Uh, I covered both the window side. If you wanted to look like KD and all that stuff, it's pretty easy to do. I covered both the dock and everything else. So both parties should be happy, but I'm sure someone's going to complain. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have the world we do if someone didn't complain. Now, if you want a more glassy like look going on, you can do that. Let's go a little more into depth. Same with this. A little bit of a glassy look. And uh, if you think the bar up top is a bit too big, you're right, it is a bit too big. So let's go to panel size and change this to 32. That looks good. You can also change the icon size if you needed to. And you can change everything to blue. Wouldn't recommend it though. So yeah, there you go, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Um, check out my last video. I actually lost over 37 subscribers from it, which is honestly ridiculous. Uh, it shows why people think asking for help in this world is such a stigma and a bad thing. But uh, if you want to help support me, check the description. There's Ko-Fi, PayPal, and a whole bunch of other selective options. And there's also members. I added a whole bunch of new cheaper tiers that help a little bit better. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.